Every young person in Ghana working so hard, but still finding it difficult to manage their lives. It's not always because of low salary. Listen carefully. The secular reason many youth fail in Africa and lose hope by the age of 40 is that they set wrong goals, pursue wrong targets, and try to force their way through a wrong system, end up crashing their lives, and then lose confidence and quit their passion for a better life. You see, the moment a young man or woman gets a job in Africa or start a small business, their goal is to rely on that job or that small business to build a house, quickly buy some cars, own lands, and be celebrated all within 5 to 10 years. As if they don't know that 2,000 Ghana cities monthly income, or even less, cannot achieve those goals, even if they were given 30 years. After some time, you will rush for a loan that will take you 5 years or more to pay back, and sadly use this loan to either pay for school fees for additional certificates, or start a building you cannot even complete. Some even go for extra degrees before realizing that was not the solution to their problems. And the sad truth is that before you go through this chain of failed goals and coming back to your realization, unfortunately, you'd have reached 40 years and lost the zeal and courage to pursue life any further. The rest will be for you to hustle on to take care of your poor kids in retarded schools. They will make friends with their fellow poor kids and grow up to continue their parents' poor life cycle if a miraculous turn around doesn't happen. You see, as a young man in Africa, before you shout there is hope in future, be sure that you are not pursuing life the same way your predecessors did and failed woefully. Because with the kind of economy we have in Africa, if you like, attain all the degrees in every university. It's a fact that you can never attain all those huge goals you have set for yourself in a job. As a young man, until you develop yourself, to become someone important to society. And you don't do that by chasing material things first. You do that by involving yourself into the things society values so much and will pay for. When you get a job, always assess the life of those who have lived in that job for more than 10 years. And their current life status is a true reflection of yours in the next 10 years if you do nothing differently. You think they didn't dream big when they started like you? You think they didn't even start to build? You think they didn't go for extra degrees? They did all that you are thinking today and got themselves caught up in the hook. But they might not tell you. When you come out of school and get a job or even start a hustle, it's not time to make a lot of money, build houses and become rich all within five years. It is called the development period. And the only way you can grow, develop yourself, to the standard that attracts the things you want is to start and grow a business that sells a product or a service or finding your talent and developing it to the extent that people will like it and will be willing to pay for you to perform it. It could be leadership. It could be buying and selling. It could be entertainment, content creation. Just anything marketable in our today's world can make you a better life. Use the job as an edge to propel you into creating something on your own so that in the near future you would have established a better life that can afford all the things you dream to have. Don't settle on the job just preparing for retirement. That's a failed life to your generation. I mean, how do you just come on this beautiful earth and start its resources, enjoy a little life and die without leaving anything beneficial to your generation? Look, here's the deal. When you start a new job or a business, live low and find a proper way to save part of your income to avoid inflation. Even if you must have to do that, forget about the brands and the show-offs for now. But while you are saving, be thinking of any business idea you want to start or how to expand your current business or identify what talent you have passion for that can be developed and monetized and begin to do it for free. Just like I am giving you this information for free in order to develop my talent. Remember, we are fixing a life that has been lied to for the past 25 years or even more. And it won't take days to fix it. It might take years. Once you do this for some time, trust me, you begin to see money in your account. You don't borrow to complete the month anymore. Your bills are paid on time. 
basically your life becomes sustainable all of a sudden this is where you begin to have hope that there is a better future because you are preparing yourself for every least opportunity to just blow you out number two use the money you have saved to start a new business or expand your current business or finance your talent and begin to grow it just do it don't expect anything to come out of it for now and when it does it is time to reinvest to be able to make it more professional and attractive let me assure you if you take these bold steps with discipline resilience and consistency to reconstruct your life goals in that manner five years is enough to begin to see transformation in your life i have done this for the past three years and i can assure you i know what i'm talking about even though i'm not rich yet look that building you are rushing to build with your salary is never the problem with you the car you are craving is not a problem with you the luxurious life you are rushing to have is not a problem with you they will get you stuck for years if you'd ever try it the main problem with you is that you are a nobody in your society and poor as well and the only way to fix that is to focus solely on becoming someone better in the society who attracts attention and influence and gradually eliminate that stinking poverty from your life first and the rest will be easier to handle listen if you spend your time chasing butterflies they will fly away from you but if you spend your time making a beautiful garden the butterflies will come to you themselves and if you could focus on improving yourself everything you want the cars the houses the fame everything will come to you gradually because we attract things based on who we become not what we want don't chase attract let's fix life first and i am very sure the material things will be easy to find comment reconstruction of your life if you believe in this message and i will see you again another time